case of the arms are quite easy so you start with six single crochets into the magic ring i already did that so in the second row we are going to increase each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches so we'll increase the first stitch okay increase also the next stitch okay and you keep increasing in all the remaining stitches until the end okay so after you're done with that uh, that's quite it so for the next 15 rows which is from row 3 until row 17 you're going to do single crochet in every stitch in each row for a total of 12 stitches in each row okay so do 15 rows of single crochets and then i'll see you when you're done with the 17th row so that we do the 18th row together okay so after the 17th row this is how your arm should look like so now we are going to finish up the 18th row and we are going to decrease all the way around for a total of six stitches so we we'll decrease and we'll keep decreasing until the end Okay, and then after that I'm just going to go into the next stitch slip stitch and cut my yarn long enough for sewing okay so I'm not going to stuff my hands because I'm going to attach them to the little basket so it's better for them to remain flat like that okay so now let's make the leg Okay, so now for the legs also, we are going to start with six single crochets into the magic ring. And then in the second row, we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. Okay, so we'll increase the next stitch and keep increasing all the stitches around. Okay, and increase all the remaining stitches okay so now after you're done with that now from the next row which is the third row until the 19th row uh, which is a total of 17 rows you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of uh, 12 stitches in each row okay so do 17 rows of single crochet and then I'll see when you're done with the 19th row so that we do the 20th row together okay so when you're done with the 19th row this is how our leg should look like so now for the 20th row just like the arm we are going to decrease all the way around for a total of six stitches okay so we're going to decrease and then we'll continue decreasing and decrease decrease okay and then when you get to the end we are going to slip stitch and cut off our yarn long enough for sewing Okay, so my legs too, I'm not going to stuff them. I'm going to uh, keep them flat because of attaching them to the little basket. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make the eye patch. Okay, so the eye patch is quite easy. So we're going to use the dark brown yarn. And all you do is make a chain six. So we're going to do chain one make sure it's loose enough two three four five and six 
and then uh, starting from the second chain from the hook you're going to do double crochet in the remaining five stitches okay so we're going to do double crochet and double crochet in the next stitch too double crochet okay and double crochet in the last stitch okay and then after that i'm going to go here at the very end slip stitch and cut off my yarn like that okay and that's our little eye patch so you make two make another one same as this one okay so now let's make the little basket okay so the little basket also is quite easy so we're going to start with the magic ring and 10 single crochet into the magic ring okay so make sure all your stitches can fit into the magic ring make it big enough so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay then i'm going to pull my yarn okay so now in our second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 20 stitches so we're going to increase the next stitch and increase the other one too okay and you're going to keep increasing in all the remaining stitches okay so after that now in our third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round so we'll do single crochet and increase in the next stitch and repeat single crochet increase single crochet and increase and repeat all the way round okay so after that now in our next row which is our fourth row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet, single crochets, single crochets, okay, and continue doing single crochets all the way round. Okay, so now in our fifth row, we are going to do two single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 40 stitches. So we'll do two single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat two single crochets increase okay and continue the same pattern all the way round okay so now in our sixth row we are going to work in the back loops only and we are going to do single crochets only in the back loop okay so we're going to go into the back loop and do single crochet and also do do like that uh, do single crochets in the back loop of all the stitches okay so continue working in the back loop all the way to the end Okay, so as you can see this is going to be the bottom part of the little basket okay so now for the next 11 rows which is from row 7 to row 17 
we are going to do a single crochet in each row for a total of 40 stitches in each row okay so I'll go and start so we'll do single crochets you continue and do single crochets normally all the way round for the next uh, 11 rows okay and you continue so continue all the way round until you get to the 17th row and I'll see when you're done with the 17th row so that we start the 18th row together okay so after the 17th row this is how your little basket should look like as you can see this is our bottom part and the inside part so now the 18th row is quite easy it's the finishing okay so what you do is you slip stitch in every stitch around and you're going to continue slip stitch Oh no. Okay, see how the edge is coming along. Okay, so continue to slip stitch all the way round until you get here where we started. Okay, so we continue to the end so when you get to the end I'm going to take off this yarn like that and then slip stitch in the last stitch and cut off the yarn Okay, so after that you just do the finishing and then now I'll explain how to attach all the parts together. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I've finished attaching all the parts together. So I'm going to explain uh, how to do it. So first of all, you start by attaching the head uh, to the body. And what you do is you attach the brown part here. Uh, to the body so make sure it's adjacent to the body the brown part and uh, the body and then after that you're going to attach the arms right below this brown line so you make sure they are in line together with the legs too and same with this other side as you can see so I attach the leg from the one two three four from the fourth uh, row from below and also same with the other one and then after you're done with that now we attach the basket and for the basket what you do as you can see I only uh, attached it here at the very end and you make sure the top part of the basket and the top part of the arm are in line together so that's how you attach using the needle and same with this other part and also the lower part of the basket over here the bottom part as you can see that's how i attached so you attach right from the bottom uh, until that make sure the legs are in line also as you can see from the very bottom and for the eyes uh, you have to attach it right below you see this part of the nose over here uh, which is protruding right from there going upwards like this and same with this other uh, side and also you can see the eyes uh, you put them right below the eye patch same with other one and also here I embroidered a little nose as you can see with a dark brown color or any color that you're using okay guys so that's it for this pattern i hope you enjoyed making this pattern as much as i did if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you have any questions 
you can ask in the comments below until next time bye